spending so much time at work that you're becoming a stranger in your own home. You're early, darling. Anything wrong? I don't think you've met us. Then perhaps you should talk to us at British Telecom about how you can save time at work. We've thousands of time-saving products and services to offer. <laughs> See. For a copy of British Telecom's guide to saving time at work, call us free on 0800 800 888. It's you we answer to. Sorry, I'm late, Ben. Traffic bad? No. Actually, I've been sorting myself out a pension. Pension? I find all that so confusing. I just talked to my man from the Prudential. Yeah. He's good, is he? Well, he's going to arrange it so that I can retire in 20 years. What? At 55? Yes. I want to retire while I'm still fit. All right. Now then, let's see how fit you are. <laughs> Prudential sought out more personal pensions than any other company. When it comes to your pension, be prudent, see Prudential. This is not so much a commercial for beer as an appeal. If you're happy with the beer you drink, if it has the brilliance, the depth, the smoothness you look for, if its taste really hits the spot, then don't let us dissuade you. This commercial is for those less than happy with the beer they drink and who are looking for something more. Your cooperation is appreciated. Thank you. Stones, when you're home and dry. The young's one, golden are the young's one. Cause young's one, seafood light and gold. You like love as the taste comes on. Cause you just can't bear when. Gone. Your coffee, madam. Thank you, Charles. What is this? Where did you get this from, John? That's, That's not in that script. What's the double diamond? This coffee. I know we're only acting, but I told really? you it's not the same. Nescafe don't make coffee for anyone else. It takes a special blend and roast to make Nescafe's richer, smoother taste. Nescafe. That's better. So we can stick to the script. If we can stick to Nescafe. Nescafe. Coffee at its best. New Dolmio fresh pastas are so deliciously fresh, you might be tempted to try them all on their own. But wait until you try them with New Dolmio fresh pasta sauces. For lovers of real Italian food, Dolmio. Fresh from Mama Nature. Again, I welcome you to Late Night Late. It's just gone midnight. I'm just recovering from that from that lovely series. What was it like? I knew that hunky fellow would come back at the end. It was just a case of waiting for Kirk Douglas to snuff it, really, wasn't it? I'm awful, aren't I? Now, this morning we have got so much for you. We've got so many programmes and so many competitions. I don't really know where to start. Uh, we've got a trivia chain competition coming up later. And it's sort of for you if you're a trivia buff. If you are into trivial games and stay up late playing that stupid game with friends, you know, which I always lose. But we've got a competition coming up later, all to do with that, and a chance for you to win some late night late goodies. I'm looking forward to that. And we've got loads of programmes too. I shall do them in reverse order, like they do on Miss World. Uh, we've got live boxing at 2.55. Yeah, just checking my times here. 2.55. It's the WBC Middleweight Championship, and it's coming live from Las Vegas. So find out if the hitman, I thought the hitman was a guy who had uh, pop records, but the hitman is Thomas Hearns. See if he can beat Iran Barkley. I'm not a great fan of boxing, but I hope I've got that right. Before that, we have got Roy Castle in the intrepid Mr. Twig. It's about a guy who tries to do good and always ends up having disastrous mistakes. Sounds just like me. We've got company before that, and then your choice, Randall and Hotkirk, who tell us that murder ain't what it used to be. 
Being a ghost is all right, but when there's two ghosts knocking around, you've got problems. We'll find out about that later. But first of all, football. Well, from the great days of football, when people had long hair and long shorts and Kevin Keegan was around. <laughs> we look back at the great moments of football in the company of Channon and Ball with the Channon and Ball video show. I'll see you later for all the proggies and competitions too. Don't go away. <laughs> Again. Well, this week our video scrapbook of soccer nostalgia concentrates on some of the real characters of the late 60s and the 1970s. Players who used to make the crowds roll up and then reward them with true individualism. Men like Peter Osgood and Malcolm McDonald. This week we've got three matches to look back on, the first involving Peter Osgood. Mick, you played alongside Ozzy, won the FA Cup with him. Was he one of the great characters? Was he a really good player? I don't think there's any dispute in that he was a character. I mean, he was, he was most definitely a great player. I, I've got this theory about Ozzy. When he came to Southampton, I honestly believed that he was probably over the hill. He was still a very skillful player. But at 26, you know, Ozzy wasn't the player he was at 18, 19, because he came onto the scene. Um, and I think possibly a lot, a lot of it was to do with his physique. You know, he was, he was quite a, a thick-set lad. And, uh, you know, talk about characters. I always remember he had a, he had a purple uh, capri, you know. It was P. It was P. O. Nine was the registration, and one one day we'd gone in the Dell, like, and he's obviously had a night out with Aussie, and uh, come down. And there's a picture of this Capri upside down in a field, <laughs> you know, and one of the lads has put a T in between the P, t the the P and the O. Please turn over, you know, <laughs> and uh, the story goes that uh, that um, the police knew it was Peter Osgood because. Uh, there was two people, there was a, a girl and a man saw, seen running across the field. The only way they knew it was Peter Osgood was the girl was 20 yards in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a story. great guy. When he came to the Dell, I honestly feel that we, we'd probably seen the best of Ozzy because he was, a, as a, you know, sort of 19, 20, 21. I don't think there was, I think he was brilliant. His skill was, you know was fantastic. But then I, I think he lost probably his mobility a bit, Bally, you know? I was going to ask Alan, why do you think he didn't play more often for England? Because most people say, when you talk <laughs> of Peter Osgood, he was a wasted talent. He could have been one of the world great players. Um, I think they called him a wasted talent because he finished uh, probably at 29 years of age. Um, when I was with the England squad uh, at the time that he was in it, um, there was an awful lot of good players about. And uh, I think Peter was just unfortunate that he caught, caught them at that particular time. Um, what I th thought about him, he, he was a character, great fun to be with, but his, his touch for a big man was uh, incredible. And he was very good in the air, good goal scorer. But uh, I think the most important thing about him was that any time you hit balls to him, anywhere on the pitch, it was his. And he was a very unselfish player. And he, he could, for a front man, he could also make goals for other people plus the fact he was a good goal scorer. Um, he was an awful bad trainer. And I think that culminated in, at the end of his career, why he didn't go on uh, and play to, into his 30s. He didn't have a, an awful... Frustration, I yeah, think. Yeah. You know, I mean, he, because he, he, was, he was such a natural. I mean, it, uh, as I say, I mean, this ability, it was, a, it was a natural ability. I don't think that he really had to work it. I mean, I, mean, I had the worst first touch in the world. But like Bowley says, a ball could come to him and it was stone dead. Uh, it was, he was a natural. Well, it's time for Aussie in action then, and this is an FA Cup quarter-final between QPR, then in the second division, and Chelsea. Together with Peter Osgood in the Chelsea side are the likes of Charlie Cook and Chopper Harris. Rangers field Venables, Marsh and Bridges. Your commentator at Loftus Road is Brian Moore. <laughs> 